Hi, good afternoon. My name is Chad Evans. I'm one of the applications engineers with Saratech. And you can see right on the screen, I actually had put my email address there. So it's cevans at saratech.com. So some of the things I want to talk about today is modeling with fattening or flattening and forming enhancements. And then we're going to get right into the sheet metal. And then I'm going to be showing a few enhancements with the, the NX11, NX12 that just came out recently and getting into a couple of quick demos. So go ahead and I'm going to switch over to my NX here. And the first part I actually want to be showing you is the flattening and forming. So this is a nice enhancement. So some of some of our customers today are, have been asking about what what's what's new, what's been coming out. So I wanted to show everyone what the new flattening and forming with the rip option that's available today. So I've got an option here, flattening and forming. If I pick my part and then go to my body faces, pick my body so everything is going to highlight. What is going to be my point of flattening? So here is going to be my point. Which direction do I want to go? Let's go in the X direction. So you can see it's actually going to take that surface data of our existing part and it's going to flatten it out. And you can see it's a little distorted in the corners. But what they've come out recently is a rip option. So let's go ahead and let's just hide this part. So if I go back into my option with flattening and forming, I've got an option here, rip edge. So it may be you know, truncated and you just got to expand it. So if I select my curves and you can see in the background, I also have preview turn on. So as I am selecting my parts here or my edges, you're going to be seeing the distortion is going to be a more accurate blank. So I'm going to select my edges here. So it's also a little, because of the preview is turned on, it's giving me my blank and what, so you can see this area looks very, very nice. It'd be a nice blank on how our end, end result is going to be. So I can come down here, pick a couple different other edges. So you can see I don't have to pick any certain type, but you can see here I pick, you know, different directions. So I'm picking a couple other options here. There's my rip edge. And then there it is, there's my blank. I can say okay to that. So there's my nice blank that I would be building for my surface data today. So now the next part I wanna get into is, so we've built the blank with surface data. Now let's get into our sheet metal part. So also with the multi-tab, we just recently, they just came out with uh, boundary, region boundary curves. So I wanted to show this a little bit too. So as I'm picking my areas, is giving, giving it to me right on the fly. Let's say if I pick out here, it's not going to give me that. It's going to give me a quick little error. So I want to make sure I have adjoining surfaces there. So as I'm selecting those parts, boom, they're actually appearing. So I can say apply to that. So some of the enhancements that has recently come out is this boundary, the connecting curves. I want a, a secondary flange here. Where in the past, I always had to trim these edges up to the edge and may, maybe make this a region, but now I don't have to. I can say okay to that. Now I've got down here another region area. I can come down here, select my connecting curves, pick my curves that recognizes that, but hey, I want the circle eliminated. All right, so I don't want that, looks good. So I can say okay to that, there's my finished part there. Well, lastly, I wanna show you one other option here is with the multi-blend. This is a fairly new option that's come out recently with a couple new enhancements with the, with the blending. And now I've got my base. So similar to what we did a second ago, go into my region boundary curves. Here's my region that I'm creating. I can say okay to that. But now I wanna come in here and pick my flanges. What are my flanges? So my flanges are gonna be an edge. I don't want the center, let's go full body there. So I want the complete edge. So I can pick my edge. So you've got a nice little, the, the, the flanges here, they're linked together. So now I can pick the third one. So as I rotate these around, you can see it looks very nice. I can say apply to that. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create a flange over in this area. Okay, so I'll say, I'm gonna just re, kind of recycle there. There's my full flange, but that's not quite what I wanted. I want an 
center flange. Eh, it's a little small. Let's see what 40 looks like. Yeah, it looks perfect. Let's go to the inside, maybe the outside of metal. Yeah, I like that a little bit longer. Okay, or let's go to the outside of metal here. And if not, I can actually draw that and drag it out a little bit. And if you notice, I've kind of made this little flange here, but I want this to be 90 degrees. I can say 90 there. Now it's perpendicular, straight up and down. So maybe I want to put a little sensor in here to you know, snap it too. That looks good. I can say okay to this. So now what I want to do is I want to mirror this across. So if I mirror it across, I'm going to use my mirror feature option. Pick my feature that I just created. What's my plane? So here's my plane. Along our XZ plane gives me my option where it's going to put it at. But if you notice, if I rotate my part, it's not directly across. What they did is they made a quick enhancement in the NX12. I can go back to my flange and under geometry properties, I've got an enable geometry mirror and pattern option. So that is where it's going to be giving it to me. I say okay to that. Now, if I look at it, it's directly across. That's very nice. Now I want to go one other option. I'm going to go a step further. So if I go back to my original flanges that I created, these three flanges, and I want to put one more on there. And if I say okay to that, you know, now I've got a nice little awkward break in the corner. That's not what I, quite what I wanted. I wanted a nice miter edge. So I made an enhancement in NX12 to do that under geometry properties. I say miter to that. There's my part. It looks great. All right, there's my part. There's a nice sheet metal part. I can come in here, make my flat pattern, pick my face, what's my edge? So yeah, we'll select edge. There's my top edge, say okay to that. So you can see it generated it real quick. It throws it into a view, a view called flat pattern number one. Say okay to that, I can open up my flat pattern. There's my nice flat pattern view. All right, let's go back to my, so you can see here we did a quick little demo. And I just want to thank everybody for attending. So we've also got some websites that are out there. So our Twitter account, our Facebook, our LinkedIn, YouTube video. So make sure that you liked what you saw today and there are other availables that are out there. And we also have a nice little blog. So if you want to make some comments of what you've seen today. And thank you very much and have a good day.